I am going to continue this series where I go through all the fragrances I have in my collection that has a bit of a wine or a champagne-ish note to it, simply because one of our fellow subscribers asked me, they asked me, do you have anything that I can wear? Uh, I'm going to a wedding uh, and I want to wear something uh, that would be fitting for a wedding. So I gave her my idea of what I thought she should put on. And in that moment, I also considered what I would wear. Like, what would I wear if I went to a wedding? And I said, you know what? That'll be a great video. So that. Hello and welcome to my page. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. And on here, we talk about fragrances in various different ways. We layer them. Uh, we talk about niche fragrances, uh, high-end fragrances, we, affordable fragrances. We even get, get into some clones, right? Some fragrances that might be a little too high for your budget. And I can tell you where you can actually get it to try it out to see if it's worth the, you know, worth the buy. Uh, if you have never heard of me, you've never even seen my face, again, my name is Carly Nari. You can follow me on all my social medias. I would love for you to subscribe, turn on the notification, and that way you can catch these videos as they air. Uh, as they come on to uh, to the channel, often I do a members um, a members request where if you are a member of the page and you uh, you can tell me what you are requesting uh, for me to talk about and then I bring it up right. But again, with that you would do need to uh, become a member of the page, which is actually worth the purchase because uh, then I also give you some member only videos. But that's a whole nother topic. I want to continue the series about fragrances that have a touch of wine or a bit of sparkleness to it, right? So today I'm going to talk about a fragrance that's with everyone has it. And once they get it in their collection, they're in love. What fragrance am I talking about? If you saw the thumbnail, you already know. But the fragrance is Dom Rosa. This is amazing. Stay tuned. I want to talk about it with you. So let's jump into it. Again, I love the bottles by Las Liquidis Imagineers. I think they are so sophisticated, yet, cla you know, very classy. I love the idea of it, right? It's not a gaudy bottle. Um, it just, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's a bottle that will work on anyone's collection. Right? But let's get into the fragrances. The fragrance is going to have, again, which I do love about this line, they do give you this woody base, right? Like, like a woody warmth base. But this one here is Rose and Champagne. Whereas Bloody Woods was Rose and Red Wine. This one is Rose and Champagne. This is a great one to wear, I want to say, on like... New Year's. This is a beautiful fragrance to wear as uh, your fragrance at a wedding. Uh, if you're the bride, this is a great one to put on. The notes in it is uh, champagne, uh, parmelo, pear, uh, Denmark rose, cloves. It has woody notes, has that cedar, vetiver, and guyac wood. So those are the notes that's in it. This fragrance to me, like I said, is a gorgeous wedding scent. I can really see, I can see a bride wearing this. I can see uh, a woman going out to brunch on a beautiful sunny day uh, in a sundress, uh, just smelling like it. It's the typical, and I hate to use this phrase, but it is the typical pretty girl fragrance, right? The average pretty girl that you see out there, they either wear like, they have on Baccarat 540, which is, again, not one of my top, but we'll get into that topic another day, uh, or they have on this one here. So I think this is all the rave of this year uh, of what it would be. It has, now it does have this aldehyde note to it. So if you are a person who not really into aldehyde, you might you might not get the height, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like it's a spicy yet soft rose. So the cardamom and the well not the co the clove that's in it kind of gives it a bit of spiciness, but it's like a sexy rose. But to me, what makes me really in love with this fragrance is the burst of citrus and champagne. That is what makes. Dom Rosa, a must 
buy in my collection. Now, what I often do, because I want that champagne to last a little bit longer, to be a little more projecting, because uh, uh, after a while it kind of settles on your skin and the bubbleness of the champagne does go away. I, I like to layer it with champagne. I want to kind of make sure I get it to you where you can see it. Champagne toast. Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works is what's going to give you that bubbly champagne. So it keeps the champagne note around. It gives you sparkling red berries and juicy tangerine. tangerine. I think these two was made to go together. I think they were made to go together. Because that citrus opening is going to be with the tangerine that's in here. That bubbly champagne that is so inviting, so sexy, so uh, classy. It's also in here, right? And then the blending of the berries, right? So it's going to give you more berries to this fragrance than you probably have already had. So to me, it pairs gorgeously with uh, the pear, right? So now you're going to get berries and pear. Really clean, sparkling fragrance. I love Dom Marosa, and I know that you probably have heard so much about this fragrance and everyone is talking about it, but of honest opinion, not, not to just put it out on the market. This is worth you going to get. It is not all hype. It's a great scent. Do you have Dom Marosa in your collection? I would love to hear about it. Tell me about it. Do you have it? What do you pair it with? Do you pair with anything, right? Because there are a lot of people who do not pair fragrances. They actually just wear the fragrance. And where do you often find yourself wearing it? Have you been having your mind on getting Donna Rosa, but you just was like, I don't know. I don't know if I should get it. Then let me say it has the Claudia Nari stamp of approval. If there is a series that you want me to start, then I'm going to tell you to tell me about it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, so that, those were the three I had in my collection. I've made three separate videos out of it. Uh, there's one that was red. There was two of them that had a wine note. And then this is the one that has the champagne note. Uh, I will make sure that inside of the details below, it has all three videos, uh, the other two videos and this one here. And all of them have a collection of wine or champagne like fragrances i only have three and being that i love fragrances i'm going to ask you to tell me about some other ones i should add to the collection but on that note i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna see you in the next video